The two-year-old boy that was killed in an alligator attack at Disney World will be buried today in Nebraska. Lane Graves was grabbed and killed by the predator in a lagoon at one of the resort's hotels. Divers found his body after a 16-hour search, and now there are growing questions about how much Disney could be held responsible for this terrible attack. CBS News legal expert Ricky Kleeman is here at the table to discuss. Ricky, good morning. Good, good morning. to see you. This remains one of the worst stories that most people have ever heard. I agree. I can't imagine how horrible it was for the parents. What could Disney's possible defense be here? Well, Disney is going to say, if they were to have a defense, I mean, if the case were to go forward in that manner, Disney is going to say, look, it wasn't foreseeable that we've never had an alligator attack on a human being in a, that killed anyone, period. That there hasn't been an alligator attack at all where there's even an injury in 45 years, therefore it wasn't foreseeable. Mm -hmm. They'll also say that there were no swimming signs that were posted and that when people go and flout a no swimming sign that they assume the risk. The third thing they're going to say is that everybody knows that there are alligators in Central Florida. And to that last, I say, for people like me who grew up in the Midwest and live in the concrete city of New York, I don't expect a gator to be on the property at Walt Disney, Disney yeah. World. Now, and no, no swimming is different, Ricky, than no be, beware of alligators, is it not? Well, I think I no mean, swimming is highly different than right, beware of so. alligators. So we have to look at what the plaintiff has to prove if it were to go to trial. Plaintiff has to simply say that um, they knew, Disney knew, prove it up that they had knowledge. What did they know? When did they know it? And they had a duty to warn. They didn't warn. Why would Disney ever it, want this to go exactly to well? You don't exactly ever want to argue with the family exactly. of a toddler yes. who's been imagine? killed on your property by an alligator. They got a gazillion alligator. dollars at that you, I know. That's I just... say if I'm advising Disney that yeah. my best advice is not only write the check, and write it big, but write it before a complaint right is ever filed. Yeah. And with and this huge plan about I how mean, it, it will never already, happen again. I yeah. think it should have already been written, and it should have been written with a sense of, we are so very, very so, sorry. Well, I, I, these are and, all the changes we're making. How can we make it up? You there tell is us. no yeah. question that we, that we is the correct advice. We can never replace your advice. son, but what can we do of course. for his memory? And I am sure and that they have done well with making the family feel as best that Disney can under the circumstances. Yeah. They've implemented other changes already, though. Very, they very fence, important. They put up because the signage. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. What they have done, which would show to the public that they could have done it, but that is not admissible in court should it go to court. Yeah. This strikes I, I, think so. I was Nora's with somebody point, again yesterday who said you I was just saying. there. Yesterday, right. Somebody said I was just there with my three kids on that very beach. But so you, scary. you all raise an interesting point. Why would this possibly go to court? They're very yeah. smart people at Disney. Yeah. Ricky, I, 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 I would I hope, hope so. They are. Yeah. I don't believe that. Great to have you. Great to have you here, Ricky. Yeah. Thank you, Nora. Yeah.